Veterans Day is just one day, and we need to help our veterans every day. So that's why it's exciting to be here today. Let's work every day to see how we can improve things for these people that made a wonderful sacrifice for all of us. Today we have the Governor's Summit on Veterans Talent, and it is a forum that allows members of the business community from across Michigan to be able to hear the importance of hiring quality talent that is in the form of our returning veterans. I started off in the United States Navy as a uh, maintenance controller for, for a P-3 Orion uh, aircraft. And uh, over the last uh, 12 years, I've served as a public affairs officer for the United States Army and the Michigan National Guard. I was initially in the Army Reserves in the 323rd Combat Support Hospital out of Southfield, Michigan. And then I went on active duty and I served in Daegu, Korea. The proposal that I have is I call it Talent in the Three C's. The first C is about our need to collaborate more with the private sector because that's the demand side of the equation for jobs and for careers. The second C is about creating talent, partnering with our education sector because that's the supply side of things. And the third C is about connecting those two worlds, connecting supply and demand, connecting the private sector with the education sector, putting them together and making that really work and come together in a thoughtful way. The governor uh, put this together and uh, you know he cares a lot about veterans. Uh, Michigan has over 700,000 veterans and we have a kind of a high number of unemployed veterans. The governor's seen that problem and he's uh, willing to tackle it and try to make Michigan a more veteran friendly state. We've had a tremendous response from the business community to today's program, not only to have the conversation so that they can learn from other companies who have good practices in place, but because they want to see the talent that exists. I, I met a, an outstanding uh, young lady, uh, actually multiple outstanding candidates uh, overall, uh, very impressed. She put me in a very difficult position because I have four positions right now that I could offer her, and I don't know which one to offer her. I think this summit is a fantastic way for young talent to get exposure um, in the fields that they're looking to pursue. I think it's a great call to action for employers in the state of Michigan to really look at this veteran population and to consider the additional skills that we bring to the table. I'm here to find the best, most talented, most flexible, uh, battle-tested, pressured uh, individuals that our nation has. After more than 10 years of war, there is nothing that the private sector can throw at these individuals that they are not prepared to handle emotionally and mentally. I have had three businesses come to me and tell me that they tried to talk with several of the candidates. One company in particular sent the recruiter to go after three of them. Another company called their director of human resources on the phone to do a live interview with one of the candidates. Um, and then another one of the companies is talking with two of them on the next break. And those are just the three that I've had the chance to talk to. It's awesome. We need to stay very diligent to not take our eye off the ball of being successful at creating those three C's for the wonderful people here, all the wonderful people that served our country. So let's do work on that collaboration with the wonderful companies that we have here and the companies in our state. Let's work on creation with the wonderful educational institutions that we have in our state. But let's put those together. Let's say it's time to talk, it's time to connect. And that's how we're gonna reinvent our state.